I'm here in the Thin Studio. I'm joined by David Hyde from the World Economic Forum. David, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Could you tell us a bit about your role at the World Economic Forum? Yeah, thanks so much for having me here, Ella. So within the World Economic Forum, I'm within our aerospace team. Um, and my role is really on how we can ensure the aerospace industry and adjacent industries like the aviation sector work towards providing a mobility system of the future that is safe, that is inclusive and clean. Um, so I have two primary areas that I lead there. Um, one is a project called Target True Zero, which is focused on how we can accelerate the development and deployment of zero emission aircraft, so electric aircraft and hydrogen aircraft. And there we're really looking across the whole ecosystem. So there's the technology questions, but there's also the infrastructure questions, the policy questions that are going to be required to enable that. Uh, the other area I'm involved in is on urban air mobility or advanced air mobility. And that's about how we can really realize the benefits of some of these new technologies for changing how we move through cities on the shorter and more regional distances. And what are the challenges that lie ahead for the industry as they go on their quest to achieve net zero? Uh, so I think, as, as I just, just sort of mentioned, there are so many different areas to this problem. So we have the technology question of sort of how do you make aircraft more efficient? Um, but what the forum does is really look across all of the different levers that are going to need to be uh, shall we say, pulled in the right way to actually solve this problem. Um, so I mentioned the project I lead, which is focused on electric and hydrogen aviation. But we know that that's a more distant solution. Um, before we even get to that, we're going to have to look at how we can scale up the use of sustainable aviation fuels. So we have a sister initiative looking at that, both from the demand perspective. So how do we bring buyers together and create the market signal that actually airlines and consumers do want to use these fuels? Um, but then also from the supply perspective as well. So how do we make sure there are policies and financing and regulations that actually allow the companies that want to produce these tools to, to do so in a way that's uh, affordable for the industry. And what are the forum doing to realize the benefits of these new technologies? So the forum is, uh, we like to see ourselves as the international organization for public-private cooperation. So within that role, we like to bring together industry and policy makers to solve some of the really tough problems um, that need to be addressed to realize the benefits of, of these transformational technologies. Uh, so within the project I lead, Target True Zero, we're looking at how can we bring together, uh, how can we solve some of the questions around technologies, how can we get stakeholders aligned on sort of what the potential of these are and get the support of governments uh, to enable them. Uh, within a urban air mobility, we've actually recently launched a coalition of, of cities and regions that are at the forefront of trying to implement this. So, trying to help them understand what policies are needed to, to make this work for their communities, for their economies, um, and not just be a shiny thing that actually people don't use and don't benefit from. Uh, and what's the forum do to ensure that airspace is used efficiently, including sort of use with dr of drones? Yeah, so um, I mentioned the, the cities and regions coalition we had, which is really focused um, not so much on the airspace, but how do we ensure sort of effective integration of these within the airspace and what is the role of cities there? Uh, the forum also works with uh, national governments. We have um, some things called the Centre for the Fourth Industrial Revolution, where we do specific projects with countries uh, to help develop the regulatory frameworks for, for instance, how to enable us to scale up the use of drones in the future. Um, and how can we best kind of uh, maintain the economic and societal benefits of operating space? Yeah, so I think uh, we're obviously here during a heat wave at the moment and we can see that it's, it's pretty important to address the issue of climate change but I think we shouldn't forget actually about what the industry, the aviation and aerospace industries do and you can see that all around us at Farnborough. Um, I think what we really need to do is we need to mobilize the industry and I think there's, it's obvious that that's happening. Uh, we need to make sure that continues um, and we need to continue to work with other stakeholders in this space. So we need to bring together governments, we need to make sure that consumers understand what we're doing and what their role is. Um, and also other industries as well that we're going to rely on, so making sure there's financing for the changes that we need, making sure there's the infrastructure, and that we're all sort of aligned and moving towards um, ultimately what we all want to see, which is a sustainable aviation and aerospace sector. David, thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much, Ella.